Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Vault Hunters 3rd Edition Alpha 10. I am very, very, very excited to be back in Vault Hunters. However, I'm a little bit concerned about the starting location. Um, not the, not the, not the best of spots. Uh, yeah, yeah, this could be challenging. It looks like we have half a trio here, but on that, this looks very, very icy. Anyway, while I'm getting some wood, let me quickly explain. You may be asking, but Binary, you already have a Vault Hunters series. And yes, I do indeed, but like Iskel did, I'm sure you watched his stuff, he restarted his series because Alpha 9 was so game-changing and I wanted to do the same. I wanted to get a fresh start uh, and, well, start things over, really. Because so many things have changed and, honestly, I think the gameplay looks a lot better than what it was when I did the first series of uh, third edition. For example, uh, not that, this. Vault Hunters has quests now and for for me making videos that's just going to make landing a whole lot easier because I can just sit down, start recording, whatever happens happens and I can just basically go off of this this quest book which is really cool like Vault Hunters introduction uh, which is actually something that I need to look, look into obviously we know what Vault Hunters is you can read this if you wish uh, however in addition to different difficulties you can also select your game mode Vault Hunters features three game modes normal casual and hardcore with normal being the default game mode normal Death after level 20 causes a spirit to spawn at your spawn point. Using a spirit extractor, you can buy back your lost items. I've got to keep it at that. Uh, but if you play this, you could use, choose casual, which death after level 20 does not cause item loss. You just take some durability damage instead. Hardcore, you permanently lose all your items. Uh, research team invite. So this is if you play multiplayer. I've done this. I've completed it. And I have, in fact, gotten eight cooked vault steak so that is really cool this i don't know if this was here when i played uh third edition before but this looks to be a very cool uh new food source that i think you can find in the vault so come on give me that piece of wood please yes so if we continue with the quest like actually the next thing that we need to do is find chromatic iron vault stone and vault rocks so I think, like, like I said, I'm just going to keep following this. However, I would love to find a better place to live. This is a very, very icy, cold, and not very pleasant area. It's beautiful, don't get me wrong, but it's not really what I wanted. Oh yeah, and I completely forgot, by the way. We got Shavers now. <laughs> we have Oculus, which is a port of Iris that now works on Forge. Well, not now, but it, it's, not, it's been working for a while. But yeah, Vault Hunters in... Complementary reimagined is cool. Also, this view is cool. Actually, a lot of this is cool. Uh, I I just really really wish there were a village nearby. That would be that would be great. But I suppose we can uh, live with this. I'm just gonna run for a bit. I have food. I can run. I can't sleep. But that's all right. Um, we'll, we'll just keep going and see what happens. Is that I I no. This just keeps on going. Oh no, this is in here, apparently. Ow. How deep is this? Uh, ooh. Oh, well that's actually very convenient. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> that means there must be stone here as well. Yep, got stone. Now normally I would make a furnace and tools out of the stone, but it looks like that we have a lot of stone over here. So I would much rather go for that if possible. I just need this stone to get out of this. A uh, little bit of a mess that I'm currently in. So I think I can bridge up here. Please have enough. Jump, jump. All right. I really need to get over here on solid grounds. And I can eat my food. Oh, wow. Yeah, this food is good. This food is amazing. This is not stone. <laughs> this is gravel. Oh, wait. Some of this is stone. We're good. Upgrade to a stone pickaxe. Much better. Furnace. Go ahead and make an axe. Make a sword, maybe as well. You know what? Let's just make a shovel. Axe works as a as a as a sword. That's fine. This is fine. This is fine. All right. Good. Now I need to find a cave opening somewhere or just dig down. I would love to find a better place to be located, though, rather than this icy place of. Well, but wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hello, zombie spawner. Hello, please don't kill me. That would be not cool. Uh, part of me want to save this place in case ever needed. Um, right, marker, create waypoint, uh, spawner, zombie, green, yes, green. Right, let's see what we got. Uh, I need to set, hold on, 
Hold on. New instance. Sort target inventory. Middle button. Sort backpack. No. All right. Let's see. Uh, golden apple. Good. Lava wax. Gives the writer of this. Uh, I, I don't think I need that, but I will take, I suppose I will take this stuff. Ooh, okay, yep. Oh, iron and redstone. Okay, I will definitely take that. The rest can stay. I need to, I think, go in this direction. Looks like we have some changes over here. Plenty of coal, though. I wish I had vein miner right now, but it's all right. I can come back at any time. We should be able to craft and last right. Yep, after a couple of vault runs, so that is not a problem whatsoever. I'm just hoping to find a village somewhere, but it's... It's not gonna happen, is it? And soon it's gonna be... Listen, when it becomes stack time, I will dig straight down and just do mining stuff. Because then a village is probably not gonna happen. Oh no. Oh no. 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 Okay. Right. Okay, I see a shipwreck. Going here has, might have just been worth it. Yep, a single shipwreck, nothing else around it. A lonely polar bear. Okay, you, you could call this a... A cool start or a chill, a chill start at a chill start. Yep, that's the official title now. Look how it's actually inside the ice cap. This could be challenging for me. Well, I'm in ish. Well, I'm on it. Uh, chest. Hello. Ooh, yes, beautiful emeralds are really good now. That they're very, very, very valuable. Why well, that won't be the only chest, I'm pretty sure. Should be a chest right here. Yep, buried treasure map. I will take it. And there should be another one over here somewhere, I think. Yep. Uh, you know what? Leather, potatoes, gunpowder. Don't know what I'm going to be needing those for, but I will take it. Hmm. Moon portal over there. I could go sailing. I could go sailing. And you know what? Since we do have this buried treasure map... Uh, so that's north. Which way is north? That's that way. Right. Rune portal first. Then treasure map. Oh, it... Okay. Didn't want my boat to sink. Tried backing up, but okay. Well, what do we... Ow, what do we got? Let's have a chest of some sort. Yep. Uh, curse of vanishing. Curse of vanishing. Not ideal, but I mean, I will take it. it oh, we have full armor now, actually. That's great. Uh, that's not what I'm looking for, unfortunately. Right. Buried treasure map. Could have diamonds. Don't want to miss out on that. I'm being forced to the right here, which is not ideal because that's further away from where I really want to be, but kind of don't have a choice <laughs> when there's a huge iceberg in my way. Coming through, don't mind me, please don't kill me, thank you. Well, found another one completely by accident. I will take all of that. Uh, there should be more in here, I think, if you like. Yep. Oh, another bird trash map. Does that lead to the same place? This leads to here. Yep, same place. Okay, I'm finally getting closer. By the way, uh, so far, only ice, a little bit of land over here that I might go back for, um, but if you're interested in this, uh, seed, that, there you go, that, that, that's the seed if you want to uh, experience this. Uh, do keep in mind it is with the Vault Hunter's Mud Pack and Terralith, this part of the pack as well. Uh, right, yep, we're getting a little bit closer now. Okay, it'll be by this sand island. Hopefully it's not filled with hostiles, and of course it's going to be under- Yeah! <laughs> Fighting on this ice is complicated. <sighs> that was genuine fear you just heard. <laughs> Found it. Ooh, good stuff. Uh, I want all of that. I want all of it. Oh no. Oh no. Please break. Please wait. Wait, I can't get up. Please break faster. Please break. Whew. That was close. Okay, I'm happy with that. Right, full inventory and I have done nothing so far. Right, I'm definitely going towards this place. So I can get to proper land now and start mining already. This is some start. I'm in an icy area, barely any resources and now it is... Not only nighttime, it is also raining <laughs> and snowing. What a welcome. This is. This better just be the start and not a foreseeing of what is to come. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah. 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 But it has to be entertaining somehow, right? My patience has paid off. Village. 
village. I'm happy. I'm very, very happy. Please let me sleep. Let me sleep. Please, 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 please. Oh, that's no bed here. No bed. Get, get lost. Where? Bed. Give me bed. Want sleep. Set spawn. Please get out. Urgent. Ah. Okay. Things are looking up just a little bit. If there's a creeper that blows me up now, I will be genuinely upset. Finally, some peace and quiet. Right. First things first, give me a house that has a chest. This will do nicely. This is not really ideal circumstances, but I will take it. This definitely works. Now I need to find a mine, which there's no... Well, there's a ravine over here uh, in this direction, which I suppose could be worth checking out. However, before I wander off too far, uh, waypoint... Vi village... Uh, home... For now, y yes, yep. But, I mean, when it's not an icy, very not friendly area, this place is actually very beautiful. Oh, I thought that would be a huge cave opening. Nope, unfortunately not. But I should be right in front of this opening right here. I'll be honest with you, I thought it would be a little bit bigger than that. Could just start digging down here. My curiosity has spiked. Must investigate. Don't, don't no, no, I don't. I don't want to see snow again, nor ice. I'm, I'm gonna look this way, but sprint the, the yep, that, yep. Hmm, tough and gravel. This could be a very, very useful place to come back to in the future if we need any of those things. However, as of right now, I don't. Tiny cave entrance over there, maybe. Yeah, I, I should really just start digging down, shouldn't I? Cave opening? Oh, it actually is. Oh, it actually is. Question is, is it a dead end or does it expand into something very promising? I'm going to guess dead end, shall we? Yep, very much dead end. Oh, nope, that that's not what I was hoping for. Final thing I want to check. We actually found another village as well. Not gonna go to it yet, though. Not gonna go to it yet. Gonna check this. How deep is this? I get. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh. I'm hungry. Okay, I thought that was gonna be diamonds for a moment. Okay, this is cool, but I'm not seeing any air cave areas. So instead, I'm gonna do the one true thing a Minecraft can do. Dig straight down. However, I'm not that brave. I'll dig a two by one. <laughs> yes, in this case, I am a bit of a chicken. And I will admit it, and I'm not afraid to do so. Okay, I just blocked off the sunlight and apparently... Oh, one right... Oh. Oh wow, um, hello. Didn't quite expect this, but we do have deep slate and it's very dangerous. Okay, uh, wait a minute. That's daylight, isn't it? Okay, this place is, this, this place is beautiful. Oh, Be better than what I got before. Torches, more torches. Okay, I love this. Right, uh, I completely forgot what I was going to say. Yep, we, we got deep slate here. At least over there, deep slate level. That's good. And I'm going to make something uh, with my 11 iron. I, I need a I need a furnace. I need a furnace. I'm going to make a shield. <laughs> I, I, I don't trust this. Or at least I was going to make a shield if I could get some coal. Well, at least it doesn't look like iron is going to be a hard thing to find. I don't know how many things... Oh, cobwebs. Actually, cobwebs are good. I don't know how much of this stuff I should actually grab. Like, I want all the iron. I also definitely want the redstone, just in case. I don't think I'm gonna grab any of the other modded ores as of right now. As I really just need to find the chromatic iron, which is chromatic iron ore. Yeah, it's gonna look like that. Yep, five pieces of iron is good. That is enough for me to make a pickaxe. There we go. And then make a shield. That's not how you make a shield. You can't make shields, I forgot. <laughs> I, I forgot you can't make shields. Oops, no matter. I definitely will want the redstone. Okay. Don't know what that was. Um, I mean, I did see the creature. It didn't seem like it was going to harm us. Um, yeah, that was weird. I know, that's not chromatic iron. Looks like it, but it isn't. It's a cheat. It's something, it's fluorite or whatever it's called. Something like that. Well, I have a good amount of iron now. I just, I just need to go ahead and... Find chromatic iron, which this could potentially lead to. Maybe. I can see on the map that there's some sort of mine shaft probably close by. That could be beneficial as well. I know what I need to make. However, I need to smelt one piece of iron first. And that's a water bucket. There we go. And boom, boom, boom. Perfect. I do have an issue though. And that's that fella. Oh, and there's lava right beneath. Okay. Okay. This just got dangerous. <laughs> 
This just got very dangerous. Eh. Ow. But redstone. We're on minus 38. Wow. And there's an amethyst nearby as well. Uh, can I grab this water? There we go. Good stuff. Oh yeah. Good point. It generates beneath Y level 30. That's a good thing to remember. Please don't disappear. Be gone. And... Please tell me there's stuff on the other side. Uh, maybe. Potentially. No diamonds yet. I would love some diamonds. But I, I would also love some chromatic iron. Because that's all I'm here for right now. Speaking of diamonds. Hello. Found some. Not what I'm really here for. Ooh. So first one though. What I'm really here for, but I'll take it. I, I got cheated again. See, not chromatic iron. It's an imposter. Some would say it's being sus. Anyone who didn't get that, um, you're too young to be on YouTube. <laughs> that's, that's, that's all I can really say. Oh, what's this? Another spawner. We found another spawner. The creeper is going to be a problem. No, don't blow up. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. That would be really bad. Please don't. Thank you. Please do not spawn anymore. That would be lovely. Okay, Black Lotus, Britannia, I'll take it. Uh, I'll actually take the seeds, believe it or not. Uh, that seems like a mess I'm not willing to work in. If I got stuck in that, that would have been catastrophic. Ooh, hello, mineshaft and diamonds. Okay. Not chromatic iron, another imposter, but I really, really do want this diamond though. Please let it be more than one. Yes, perfect. I mean, we have five diamonds now, I'm not gonna complain. Only issue is right now I am not underneath minus 30, so I have to go deeper. I can only hope this mine shaft will do at some point. Oh, oh no, oh no, please break. Uh, amethyst, hello. And that's another spider. That's poisonous spider. Yeah, I'm not going down there. Yeah, I'm waiting for it. Yeah. Okay, I really shouldn't wait for this. But I want it. Please break. Okay. Good. I want this. Just, just in case. Just in case I get it in the... I thought, I thought, I thought that that would be it. Ooh. Oh, hello. This is perfect. I mean, I'm supposed to find the other stuff first, aka chromatic iron, but I mean, I suppose I'll take this. <laughs> I'll take this as a win. Below minus 30, so there is a chance. Right. This is a bigger cave opening. However, it is going up and up is not good. Up is really not good, actually. Oh, hello. Hi. Yeah, please. Nope. 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 <laughs> nope. Uh, well, diamonds. I suppose no one did say that this would be easy. Still not chromatic iron. Oh, hello. Ow. Hate silverfish. I'm really, I'm really hoping to just see some chromatic iron soon. Uh, but anyway, let's see what we got here. Ooh, more diamonds. I'll take it. Uh, glowberries, yeah, I'll take those as well. <gasps> yes, finally, finally, this is chromatic iron. This is chromatic iron. I need to drop something, don't know what to drop. You know what, I'm not gonna do botania stuff. Let's draw chromatic iron, right there. It's beautiful, I love it. I'm kind of relying on now being able to find my way back to the vault stone that I found because I didn't actually pick any up when I was there because I wanted to get all of this chromatic iron first. But yeah, I'm sure I'll be fine. I, I can backtrack, but it's not gonna go well. But there we go. We completed a quest, chromatic iron. So yeah, I'm just not gonna, I'm just gonna dig all this up. I'll be needing all of it as much as I can get my hands on. And then I will try and find my way back to, uh, yeah, to that vault rock stone thing. And just for the satisfaction, completed. Love it. And I get some raw, or I get some chromatic iron ingots. Love it. And I'm here. I found it again. So the quest needs me to get eight of these, I think. 16. I just need to get 16 wall stone, which is this right here, I think. So that's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. There we go. 
And then we complete this and we get eight shards. And then we need to craft a vault rock. But first, I'm going to mine a ton of this stuff because I really love the block. And I might as well get as many of these as I possibly can now that I'm here. Might even actually block this off here and here and here so that I know for a fact that I can work in peace and quiet. <laughs> And just relax and mine all of this stuff down. Might as well spelt a bunch of stuff so I can get some more iron pickaxes and things. I'll see you when I'm done. And finally, that is it. The last of the vault rock has been mined. Yeah, I know it's a lot, but I really, really do like this block. And we have 56 chipped vault rock. That is not too bad whatsoever. So if we take a... Wrong button. If we take a look now, yeah, we need to craft a vault rock. So I need to get out of here. I think I have some pretty good stuff. And I think I'm ready to get out of here and start crafting our first vault rock and going into potentially our first vault. Uh, that does require me, however, to find out where on earth I came from. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I. Oh. Oh, maybe I'm not going back home. Hold up. This place. It. it it's been a while since the last clip at this one, and uh, I don't remember this awesome cave here. <laughs> Ooh, that is right. You know what? I think this is good. We have a good amount of stuff. I'm gonna head back home to our village, which is over here. However, I do want to check this one out to see if there's anything useful. And then we're going to set up our first vault portal. I say that as I keep going deeper. <laughs> Right, well, I'm effectively right out of the village. Time to dig straight up. I have found the exit. The exit has been found. Ah, daytime. That is a sight for sore eyes. Right, and we are right next to the village, which I am going to check out right now. Let's see if we got anything useful around here. And I don't have a whole lot of space, but I think... Yes, I know I just threw a name tag. I don't really see a use for it. Instead, I'm going to grab these hay bales, because that will be my food source for the time being. At least until our first vault run bell. No, I don't need it right now. I'll grab it when I need it. This village has, like, no treasure, no storage or anything. Wait, there's a chest here. Hold up. Right. Yeah. Nope. And nothing there either. All right. I am going to head home now. All right, back home at temporary village home for now thingy. Uh, everything has been organized, and by organized I mean dumped into this last chest and me not worrying anymore about it. Now, before we go ahead and continue with our quest of creating a vault rock and then the vault altar and then a vault crystal, I want to go ahead and make some proper armor because what I have right now, yeah, I don't really want to qualify that uh, that as armor, so we're going to go ahead and make some proper armor here. Love these tiny spruce trees. They're perfect size. And storage problem has been solved. Perfect and beautiful. Right, let's go ahead and make our first vault rock. I have been smelting some of the chromatic iron and here we go. We're just going to make one for now and then I'll save the rest of the materials in here. I'll, I'll get better storage eventually. So we crafted our first vault rock and that is that completed. And I think that actually, yep, that gave us another vault rock. Awesome. So now we need to go ahead and make the actual vault altar. Now it's time to craft your vault altar. Placing your vault rock on your vault altar is how to obtain the recipe for the vault crystal. And I should have everything that we need except for two chromatic iron. So we'll just grab those two and go ahead and boom. Now this is not going to be a pretty sight as such. Um, I don't really have a special place for it yet. I, don't, mm, I really need a better base. But I suppose for now this will work. Maybe. Yeah, that it's not perfect, but you know what? I'm that, This is fine. We're only getting started here, folks. Right, so with that done, let's plop a vault rock onto this and see what we need. So that is one iron, three arrows, three gravel, which I conveniently just mined, and one piece of wheat. That should all be very doable. Maybe not the arrows, though. That actually, hold on. Did get a flint. Yes, perfect. So that's the arrow sorted. Wheat, and then one iron again. All right. Wheat I can easily get from right down here. Perfect. Don't want the seed. Cat can have the seed. All right, give it this and then just need to craft some arrows. There we go. One, two, three. And that is our first vault crystal completed. I want to witness it. Ding! Beautiful. And what do we get as a 
reward in that. A chocolate box. Ooh. Oh, that's huge. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, what's our next thing? Skills and talents. Before we get into the first vault, we want to inform you about a few important parts of Vault Hunters. Uh, yeah, we don't actually... Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, we can give it a skill point. Okay, we need to read this. I'm going to do that within the safety of my small cottage, though. Before we get into your first vault, we want to inform you about a few important parts of Vault Hunters. Vault Hunters has an in-depth ability and talent system that you will utilize to make your vault experience much more enjoyable. Abilities typically focus on giving you powerful active, active skills that significantly change how you play the game. Ranging from damaging abilities like Nova or Rampage, healing abilities like Heal and Totem, and survivability abilities such as Dash and Ghost Walk. Talents provide the player with passive buffs. There is a wide variety of talents to check out, each built to level up specific aspects of your experience. Check the Vault UI by pressing H by default and click on the second and third tabs at the top to view abilities and talents respectively. Your your reward for this quest is one skill point. It's highly recommended to take the heal ability if this is your first time playing as there is no natural health regeneration in the vault. I will gladly take this and that is actually really, really good. So we got some emeralds, which is amazing. We'll get to that later. But I now have an unspent skill point, which by the way, if you guys want to see a part two, be sure to let me know down below in the comments and leaving a like on the video. So. Abilities. Uh, I am probably actually going to do what it says and take heal because I only do have iron armor and there's something else though. Oh, that's two. I'll get levels fast enough. I'm gonna take heal. I'm gonna play this safe. Um, I'm pretty sure. Yep, that's G. Good. I think I'm ready. I really do need a better summer place. I suppose I can make a portal right here for now. And there we go. That's two. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna roll with it. I will roll with it. I think that's everything for now. I thought that was a creeper, so before I get another heart attack, I'm going to jump through. This is our first. This is our first vault run. Um, yeah, this this could be mixed. Th this could be interesting. And we are through. And we have beginner's insurance. Chests cannot be trapped. And beginner's grace. If killed in the vault, you will keep your inventory but receive a durability penalty. That sounds quite fair. All right. This is exciting. I'm very excited to be back in a vault. And it looks like we have the desert theme and we already have one monolith. We already have one monolith and this place looks epic with shaders on. This is awesome. One change that has happened within the vaults that I remember is that each spawner is now a fizzle spawner, meaning it has a few uh, charges and then it will disappear like this. So it can no longer be like one that constantly spawns unless it's a specific dungeon. And we get these soul shards right off the bat as well. Well, to start off with, I'm just going to take everything that I come across because I will be needing everything. Ooh, a door, which I don't have a key to, unfortunately. More chests here. I reach these. Yep. And we also have quite a few husks. Go. Very clip. Ow. I gotta remember, no healing in the vaults. Oh, okay. Okay, I spawned two at, two at a time. Two at the same time. That is not ideal, but I think we are all right. Well, so far, so good. I mean, we're getting another right scrap. That's good. I want diamonds, preferably. But you know what? This works as well. This is our first vault, after all, and I am happy with pretty much anything. Let's go to the next room. Should to mark our way back out. And I just triggered something, and I don't know where that was. Like, we got another monolith over there. Okay. Ooh. On oh, HS. Sick. And we got the final monolith right here. They have become a lot more common, I'm pretty sure, as well, which is awesome. Let's grab that. And then we just have to exit the vault to complete it. And this refills your mana. Don't really need that right now, but awesome to have. Haven't gotten any diamonds yet. A little bit worried, because I am kind of relying on getting some diamonds out of this run because I really want to get full diamond armor but maybe I'll just have to get back into the caves I don't know vault diamond though that I will take next room and another monolith but we only need the two I mean I am getting diamond nuggets so eventually I'll have enough but at this current pace it doesn't seem like diamond armor is all that necessary as of yet ooh gilded chest Awesome, and a bunch of coins. Definitely will take these. Oh, hello. Hiding, I see. Let's see if I can nail this. I did. My axe is, oh, sneaky. 
My axe is getting quite beaten up, which I'm not super happy about. So maybe a diamond axe with enchantments is going to be better than getting diamond armor for me at this point. No coin. Do take quite a while to mine, but they are worth it. Inventory is starting to get quite full, which is of course both good and bad. Oof. That was a close one. Too close for comfort, that one. What's this? Grants two regeneration. Okay. Might need it for this. Nah. Actually, I will take it. And then mine some of this. Oh. Was that it? Oh no, we got some stuff here. Any ore? We do have ores. Laramar? Yes. Well, that seems to be a about it. Okay, good find nonetheless. Ooh, more. Ooh. Okay, I should have definitely brought silk touch or something. Okay. Okay, please drop what I want. Yes! That's one guaranteed. Another Laramar? Nope. Unfortunately not. Paynot, I'm pretty sure. Yes. And where's the other one? There was one more. Bend your tight. Yes! Okay, I'm really happy about the pizza the the pizza night gem. That's pretty cool. Not gonna mine all of these down. Just gonna mine some of the key ones to potentially reveal other ores laying around. Like that. Gorgonite, I'm pretty sure. Or something else, which, yeah, is now lost. Oh, this place is big. Yeah, I definitely need to focus on tools. Armor is not that important at this stage, I don't feel like. However, the tools, getting Fortune 3 on a diamond pickaxe, getting a diamond axe with sharpness and everything, that should really be the next goal, I think. I heard sand. I knew it. I knew something else had spawned. Ooh, bounty pearl. That's huge. Uh, okay, I don't think I need that. Uh, inventory is a mess. Please, some. Do I have. Oh, I only have one shulker shell. I really do need one more shulker shell. Because if I can get that, I can get another shulker box. Yes, I got it. I got another one. I can't craft it at. Oh, wait, maybe I can actually. Hold up. I might be able to. Ah, uh, my axe has got to run out of durability. I don't like it. Okay, crafting table. Yes. Chest. Yes. Charcoal. Yes. Perfect. That is what I needed. Sweet. Yes. I'm getting quite a bit of knowledge, actually. I'm very happy with that. More ores. Please give me good stuff. Okay, Naramara, I'll take it. Unfortunately, didn't get to bend your tight. And my axe just broke. Uh, do I have iron by any chance? I do, right. And do I have, I do have two sticks. Actually, I already have sticks. I just need wood. Aha. There we go. That's an enchantment table and gilded chests. Okay, I really want to get all this. Nope. 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 Ow. Uh, this is a dangerous room because a lot will spawn. Okay, nothing spawned from that. Okay, a little bit worried now, because... What on earth? What on earth? No, 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 no. No, not like this, not like this. Not like this. I just want to get the Gilded Chess before I run out of time. Grab this. Okay, it's fine. Three minutes though, that's not fine. Grab that, grab this. Okay, got everything. Need to head out now because I think I'm a little bit far away from home. So I came from there, that means I need to go in this direction. I might just be over. Oh, wait, yes, I know exactly where we are. Ooh, but I need to go around. Okay, uh, thing good. Avoids big hole. And I think if I just go this way, I really hope I haven't made a wrong turn here. And then run past that, whatever it is. Run through here. And then I think this room, if I go left. Nope, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Oh no. I saw kill the chest, but I cannot stop. <laughs> oh, this is bad. Go back here. Back another room. And then to the right. Ooh, it's gotta be close. I don't like that. I don't like this. Oh, there's so many guild chests. I saw guild chests down there as well. Why didn't I go this way before? It's fine. And it's a village room. Are you kidding me? This is a village room. Don't got time to stop. Really don't have time to stop, unfortunately. Would love to stay, but can't. My loot depends on it. Had I just gone left instead of straight, I would have found this instantly. And this should be my portal. Yep. That is. I'm going to say that this is going to be 
our first run. And honestly, not too bad at all. 71 just looted. Yep. I'm happy with that. I'm actually happy with that. And it's snowing. And I don't know what to do with anything. I'm gonna grab this. And I'm gonna go to bed. I can't. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Well, we did get quite a bit of decent loot. Not gonna lie. We got a bunch of soul shots. We even got some uh, gems here. We also got diamond nuggets, which I'm very, very, very excited about. We also got... Huh. <laughs> we also got an enchantment table right there. Six. Huh. I thought I got more knowledge that's an essence than that, but apparently not. And also more diamond nuggets, but apparently not. Well, we can open these. Ooh, diamonds. And more diamonds and emeralds. That's perfect. Three diamonds. You know what? I'll take it. All in all, this is a not too bad of a hole whatsoever. But now I'm just going to dump everything in this chest so we can get a good idea of what we got. And that's both chocolate boxes emptied. Not too bad, actually. We got a bunch of soul shards. We got unobtainium, some metal brick. Got a bunch of carbon and vault plating. Really good, actually. And a bounty pearl. And of course, we got the monolith crate, which I really do want to open. But I want to do it in, in a clear sky. And we got three uns... I just realized we got three unspent skill points. Hold up. Right, well... One thing that I really want to try out, and that is new here in Alpha 9 and 10, uh, is the javelin. I've seen Escal use it. It looks absolutely cool. I'm going to take it. Now, I'm just gonna take it. And then the final one, I think I'm going to spend in dash. Could put it into strength, but I feel like we're doing all right there. So I think dash is just going to help me move around the vault a lot easier. And before I go ahead and actually make the enchanter and everything, of course, I will be opening them on with crate, but I think I want to find a place where I can call home because this currently just, it, it's not good enough. And maybe this place right here would be a good place to maybe go and take a look at. There's also the top mountain over here. Maybe some place over here, maybe. I haven't explored that far. I'm liking the area of this just from the from, just from the look of the base or from the map. I just need it to turn daytime. Hmm, interesting. Turns out you can't find diamonds in the vault. If we take a look at emeralds, for example, and then scroll over, you can see that we can actually find them in gilded chests and whatnot, but not diamonds. Diamonds are not part of the vault. The diamond nuggets are, but normal diamonds are not. That's interesting. That's good to know. And I suppose now that we're just waiting for the rain to pass away, I think I'm going to go ahead and use these sticks and these three diamonds to make myself a diamond axe and a diamond pickaxe, of which I will be enchanting as soon as we get our base started. I suppose I can take a look at the next recipe. Uh, hmm. That might actually be a problem. Yeah, I, I don't have I don't have that. All right, before we go ahead and check out this potential new base area, I'm gonna open this bottle of crate. Ooh, oh, we have well armor and the relic. Okay, let's pick this up. Oh wow, we got vault leggings, common vault blue, uh, common plus vault boots, and a bunch of jewels, which we will not be able to use right now, but of which we will definitely get back into later. First of all, though, we got a relic. Our first one. Doesn't really matter what it is. I'm just happy to get a relic. Now for the armor. We also got these black seals. Those will become useful later as well. Well, let's identify the armor. Well, if I don't lock myself out, that would be great. This means that this armor is its going to be better than diamond or even netherite for that matter. Let's see what we get. No matter what we get here, it's going to be good. Plus mana, soul bound, critical hit resistance, and plus five armor. That's good. Now these boots, five armor, four armor. Plus two armor, plus two armor, f item quantity, crit hit damage. Uh, durability is very low on these. These have better durability and better armor as well. Yeah, I think I'm going to pick these even though these are common. Well, we got some new armor. Well, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at the potential base. I really want to make it a light drop, but I can't. I need phantom membrane, so in theory, I really shouldn't have slept if I want to get that faster. Well, let's test dash ability. Oh, yeah. Okay, it is already promising. Surrounded by mountains or hills with trees and a green spot in the middle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I quite like this place, actually. It's got a nice green area in the middle. It does do, actually, I was about to say we'll need to terraform and test all this down, but having this natural cave area could actually function as different rooms, like maybe a chanting room, we could have an armory somewhere, proper stairs leading all the way up, really work this with, work with the environment on this one. Yep, I think this is the place we're going to call base. Just gonna go ahead and edit waypoint. 
base. Done. So now what I need to do is go ahead and go back home, pack all my things, move them here, and set up camp, and so that we can continue, basically. I have some work ahead of me. This is bad. This is bad. I was about to start recording. Well, I started recording, but I, 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 this is bad. 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 Very bad. Please. Okay, you know what? I might as well accept it. Just kill me already. <sighs> Anyways, I have made progress. I welcome you to the camp. I'm actually pretty happy with this. This is obviously not much. I added a floor and a campfire and that is pretty much it. Also, I, I do apologize for my voice. I've had a bit of a cough and I'm recovering. But anyways, we're going to power through this. But yeah, welcome to the camp. I have tried to organize the chests a little bit between blocks and items and valuables and vault stuff. And then down here, I've started my animal collection and this is the vault uh, gateway thing and my bed at this point in time. We will further develop this. Be sure you subscribe and also follow me on Twitch because I will be streaming things like this in the future. However, the next thing that we need to do is take a look at the quests, specifically at better enchanting. In Vault Hunters, enchantments are a bit different than in vanilla Minecraft. Protection and offensive enchantments have been disabled in order to allow higher scaling of defensive and offensive attributes down the line. There are, however, some enchantments that work both on vanilla tools and gear, as well as vault tools and gear. The Vault Enchanter is your go-to table for enchanting any gear or tools. It will always offer the max available enchantment for the cost of some emeralds and XP. Craft one and try to put any en enchantable item in it. And that we will do indeed. This is it, the Vault Enchanter. We need two chromatic iron blocks, an enchantment table, two emeralds and a book. Out of which I think I should have everything. If I am not mistaken. Now, I just need to go ahead and craft two chromatic eye blocks, just like that. Perfect. And then we should be able to go ahead and make the vaulted chatter. Boom. Uh, where are we going to place this? For now, we're going to do it up here. Let's just keep it here. Yes. All right. So with this, if we add our tool, we will be able to pick any enchantment that we wish. Which is pretty cool. Now, I did just die. Uh, definitely didn't die earlier while doing all this either. So, let's see. I want... I can't get sharpness on the axe. Oh. Oh, sharpness does, is, doesn't exist. Okay. Well, in that case... I just wasted two diamonds. Uh, well, the axe does have more damage. You know what? Let's just do it. Um, I don't know if I want anything other than Unbreaking 3, to be honest. So let's just do that. So it used five emeralds and used one of my levels. That's great. All right. So now for the pickaxe. So this I definitely want to spec out. So that's efficiency five. Uh, I think I want... I think I want Silk Touch on this one. We'll also add Mending and Unbreaking 3, of course. And just like that, we have used quite a bit of emeralds, but we will get this back in the vault. And we have a pretty decent pickaxe. And you know what? I'm actually gonna go ahead and get a little bit of a smithing table going, I think. Just like so. Gonna add that up here. And we're gonna set this to netherite. Not too bad. And I think with that done, we will be able to complete this. And we are moving towards better health potions. But I think. But I'm going to keep it there because I have a vault crystal right here that I wish to run. I've already set up everything that we need for it. I'm not going to make those potions today. I'm going to save that for the next episode. And of course, if you guys wish to see a second episode, do let me know down below in the comments. And by leaving a like on the video, that is greatly appreciated. But for now, I want to go through and run another vault. I want to use this brand new pickaxe. Don't really need the spruce uh, tiki torches at the moment. I do have plenty of food, blocks, weaponry. And my brand new armor. Oh yeah, the armor. Ooh, that was dumb. I should have enchanted the the armor. Well, uh, let's do that. Unbreaky three, and the boots will just have to do for now. All right, let's run through. Let's do one last vault run of the day. All right, beginner's endurance and beginner's grace, and we need to find uh, two monoliths. Let's do this. If the world would load for me, that would make it a lot easier and this is a very very nice looking theme i do have to admit oh and we are dealing with mushroom people all right at least they are fairly easy to deal with oh yeah and i gotta use my new javelin which i have just binded to uh different keys or, or i found it, just binded to a key that i can easily hit while in combat and another shell shell that is 
Perfect. And I actually just got another one. I can actually make another shulk box right now. All right, what's this? Oh, no. Slime. That's... Nope. Not dealing with that. Don't know what's up there. Not worth it. I deem it not worthy. And of course, I now have dash, which is going to help me navigate the vaults even further. Ooh, coin piles. Just gonna use my fist for these because the pickaxe is not working. We need something else for this. And I see a monolith over here. I need to be careful that the creeper doesn't spawn in. And say hello. There we go. First monolith. That's a big slime that I'm not happy about seeing because that can hurt quite a bit. I'll grab all this and I'll say thanks for the visit. Why are there so many slimes in this bar in this uh, theme? It's not nice. Nope. Okay, that does a lot of damage. You know what? I'm just gonna run. I... nope. That was a lot of damage. And I see the second monolith. Perfect. Ooh! Unidentified magnet. That's great. That's cool. That's really cool. And I see gilded chests. And I keep forgetting that I have the javelin. Like, it doesn't do too much damage. But it does enough to be able to make a difference. Just gotta get used to using it. Yep, that's what we want to see. Emeralds. And another gem. Oh wow, what is this place? It's filled with chests. Oh wow. Well, this is a great find. And another cool area with a lot of chests. Oh, what are you? What on earth are you? Okay. He was tough. But not tough enough. Definitely gotta remember to use the javelin more. Also, the cooldown is quite low. Yeah, it makes combat a lot faster. Getting a bunch of vault diamonds, that's amazing. Ooh, what's this? Oh, I gave it 20 mana. Okay. I got a blessing, apparently. Bunch of coins, I cannot resist. We will need every single coin we can get our hands on. Okay, here an issue. Issue actually hurt. Okay, inventory is starting to get a little bit tight. So I will grab two of these. Pick up these. Put them here. And make another shelter box. Ooh, nope. Hmm. Nope, not dealing with that. Ooh. Ooh, an identified vault helmet. That's great. That was worth the start. Ooh, yes. Oh, I hate these. They're tough. Gilded chests. Nope. I really want to grab all these coins, but time is running out. Ooh. Eight levels. I'll sacrifice that. Gilded chests. Yes. Ooh. This is a lot of living, which means probably and hopefully a lot of knowledge. Okay, six minutes. Not gonna lie, I'm a bit confused as to where I actually am. So I actually, yeah, you, uh, hold on. Okay, I know exactly, okay, I know kind of where I am. I'm gonna, okay. I'm a bit scared because I'm not sure I know the layout of this vault. No, you know what? No, I'm gonna retrace my steps because I have gotten a lot of good loot from this and I don't want to lose it. That may make me sound like a little bit of a chicken, but it is the wiser choice, I think. That never happened. That was cool. Okay. That's my portal. I have three minutes to spare. Let me check the right room and the left room and then we can be going home. Just gonna see if there's going to be anything of great use. Gilded chest, maybe something else. Yep, ornate. It's this way that I usually find all the great and amazing rooms that I then don't have time to, to properly loot because I always check them at, that's the last possible thing. I mean, that's a great find right there. And that's a wrap, I think. And with less than a minute to spare, this vault has been pretty decent. Time to go home. All right, 111 chests looted, 78 mobs unalived, and pretty decent experience, 90,196. And of course, we got the monolith crate as well. 
And we got an expertise point. Ooh. Okay, well, the sun is going down, but I actually don't want to sleep because that means that I won't get any phantoms. I really want to get an elytra. So, with that in mind, I need to now organize all of this stuff and go through what we actually got. I'm going to place this over here and not touch it for now. So what I think I'm going to do actually is make another chest over here and I'm just going to add all the vault related stuff in this and then all the vanilla items like separate because the vault stuff is the loot that we really do care about. We did get five extra shulker shells which that is a big win in my book. All right all three shulker boxes has now been emptied. All right so this is all the loot that we got and honestly 38 knowledge essence that's not bad whatsoever for one haul plus we got a bunch of gems which we will get into probably in the next episode or the one after that we also got a relic booster pack and a mystery box as well two blessings which i don't know how we actually use let me know down below in the comments some bounty pearls which we will also be using in the next episode which i'm very much looking forward to a bunch of coins and 10 vault diamonds as well not bad whatsoever and of course we got the unidentified magnet and unidentified vault helmet which i'm very excited for nothing from the relic boost packs but we did get some emeralds which means i'm going to immediately go ahead and oh i really want to get everything on this but i'm going to start with unbreaking and probably feather falling four actually just going to use all my emeralds on that now let us identify both of these. Okay, so we got a magnet. Obviously, this is going to be better than no magnet whatsoever. Uh, a lot of durability, decent range at decent velocity, I think. Uh, I'm pretty sure there is a control for magnet on off. Can I maybe do like X? Uh, yeah, I don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that either. Yep, that's how I do that. So if I go ahead and equip the magnet here, I throw this and I can disable it. It's a bit slow, but you know what? I'll take it. All right, let's take a look at this. Plus 6% and rarity, plus two armor. That's actually very, very good. Uh, definitely better than my current iron chest plate, uh, iron helmet for sure. But yeah, that's a pretty decent, that's pretty decent right here. And of course we have two unspent skill points, which we could use in talent or abilities, but we also have one expertise point. Ooh, I really want vein miner. I think vein miner is something that I'm going to grab. However, I could also use it to upgrade my javelin with piercing. Oh no, wait, I can choose a specialization already. Ooh, scatter. Summons, I imagine, to hit your foes afar. Deals an amount of damage based on your weapon damage. I think I want piercing. Now, I could upgrade this to the next, which will decrease the cooldown even further and increase knockback, which is pretty good. But I think I'm going to take Vein Miner. Uh, ooh, but I have another one, though. I have another one. I think I'm going to upgrade heal just like that. Now, expertise points. This is interesting. I don't know much about the expertise, but uh, we have a bunch of different things here, like gain a cost reduction on items sold in shopping pedestals inside a vault. Not really interested in that. You become better at cutting jewels, increase the likelihood of succeeding to cut a jewel in the jewel cutting station. Artisan, gain a chance to not consume crafting potential when reforging gear. Marketer, reduce the restock time. Bounty hunter, reduce the bounty wait period to 30 minutes. That's not really going to affect me a whole lot. Gain a chance to have the altar roll lucky when crafting a crystal. Increase the value of a vanilla experience orbs to gain more experience per orb. That's a lot actually. Oh, gain pass passive fortune levels that are applied whenever you use a fortune tool to break blocks. I think that's what I'm gonna have to pick. Gain a resistance to crystal instability when modifying a crystal. When applying a normal catalyst to a crystal there's a chance. Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna have to pick fortunate. And I just did. <laughs> now I am going to end this episode here and now, but I do want to just see what the recipe is for the next crystal. Redstone potatoes, red flesh, and cobblestone. That is easy. Ooh, I forgot about this. Oh, wow. Okay, hold up. We're not done. We are not done. What's this? We got a bunch of jewels. Some pretty decent one, I think. I, ones, I think. Ooh, that's a, that's a really good one. Okay, yeah. that All of this can... Ow. All of this cannot be here, like, cannot fit just yet. Uh, but that's a bunch of jewels. This is some good stuff as well. No relic, but we did get one. One emerald, one is better than none, I suppose. And, oh no. Okay, well, we got a sword and we got a common plus chest plate. That's great. Okay. Let's, uh, let's identify these. Okay, yeah, mobs are slowly closing in here. This is not ideal. Okay. I'm gonna climb this tree to be safe. Ooh, it's a common one. It's it's going to be 
better than any chest plate that I have currently, but the durability is good. Three armor plus one armor plus 11 mana, item quantity. Yep, that's just good. And it, it kind of looks cool. Yeah, that, that's not too bad at this. Okay, soul chance, that's good. Attack rage, that's good. Attack damage. Not as good as my axe, but it is a sword and it does have good attack speed, I think. Yeah, I think I'm definitely gonna use this instead of the axe. Definitely. Wow, what a change. What an upgrade we just got. So guys, on that amazing note, I'm going to call this an episode. Vault Hunters has changed and it has changed, in my opinion, for the better. It's a lot of fun. Not that it wasn't a lot of fun before, but it's even more fun now. So guys, I really hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave it a like, subscribe if you're new and enable those notifications. So you don't miss a part two. And if you do want to see a part two, be sure to let me know down below in the comments and by leaving a like on this video. But guys, that's it for me. Hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.